Hang on just a second. Are you receiving this? Okay, good. It should just be a short walk, um, this way, I think. I'm pretty sure. I'll have to take it slow, it's slippery. No, the suit seems to be holding up so far. Weatherproof and waterproof. Hmm. Up here, I think. Well, I do sit in a cockpit all day. Yes, I should probably get into shape. I like the snow. No matter how impractical it gets. There is something magical about snowy landscapes. Snow is like insulation. It hides away and creates secrets. It's difficult to see anything. I think it's safer to slide down here. Not much further now, and we should be able to see it. Or I think we can see it already. That flat roof through the snow. One more hill to scale.
There it is. It looks like those prefabricated modules that are used by a lot of first-time settlers. Sturdy, customizable, can be adjusted to a lot of climates. No. It certainly looks abandoned. Are you picking up any life signs? bit of climbing required. Mm, thanks, your concern is touching. Do you think it will start up again when we enter? Any defense systems? Okay, here goes nothing. Seems to be powering up. That's better. A bit of light helps. Just a capacitor over there.
It is quite small. No living quarters. didn't last long. Ripped apart. What happened here? This is part of the life support system, or maybe a hydroponics bay. But this is an older model. They used to have some storage, actually. Scan it. I think it's the only thing here that could hold something. Solve it. This looks like someone's personal log, a diary of their stay here. What kind of code? Okay. Day one. We landed this morning. The prefabricates were here already, as promised. This place is intimidating. The landscape is frozen already, and according to Seshi, it's late fall, not even winter. Day 5. We're all set up. We have a backdoor connection to a remote satellite, so we can get some news now and then. Seems like they are still looking for us but hopefully not on a freezing, unclaimed planet. We are using as little power as possible, in the hope of not showing up on any long-range scans. Day 8 Seshi told me to fish, or forage, or hunt. The hydroponics bay is too small to sustain both of us. So I've spent quite a lot of time outside. The cold bites. I understand that expression now. The cold is like a bite. Like a burning on my skin. I need to dress better. But the landscape is growing on me. It's peaceful here, wild, yet calm. The snow covers everything. It can be difficult to walk. Get wet and you'll freeze to death in twenty minutes. Go out when it's snowy and windy, and you'll get lost and walk off a cliff. But so far, I am alive. And I feel like I'm starting to learn the rules of this place. 
Day 14 I feel like a fog has lifted from my mind. I didn't even know it was there until it was gone. I have plenty to do, but the stress that has been my constant companion for as long as I can recall is gone. No more screens. No more info feeds. No more notifications. No more people demanding my attention. Seshi mostly works on the habitat. Maintenance is more time consuming than we thought. He told me they stopped looking for us. But I don't really care anymore. That world seems far away. Day 21 My days here are much the same. I have found a routine I am comfortable with. I go outside in the morning, every morning. I use my head and my body all day. I check my traps, consider moving them to another place that might be better. I fish. I consider where the ice is safe and where it is not. I look for weather changes. My balance is better, and my reflexes. I'm getting stronger. I'm getting to know the wildlife, the little furry creatures that somehow survives here. I sleep better at night because I am exhausted. It is a good sort of tired, physical, not mental. My head has stopped throbbing. This place is healing me. That's the last proper log. The rest are not dated. How are you doing, Aspect? There are some other entries here, attached to a video of the night sky. They seem more like musings on nature. This place has filled every corner of my body. I belong to the land. My old life seems unreal. Like a dream slipping away when you wake. Whenever I try to think about it, I have to shift my perspective. I rise with the sun. The mountains slowly emerge out of darkness as I eat my breakfast. Then I circle the valley, my usual route with small detours to explore. Hunting, trapping, fishing, foraging sometimes. Everything is weighed down with snow. Plants are insulated under it, and creatures burrow through it. The landscape is softened by it, and all sounds are muted. For hours on end, all I hear is my own breath, the soft crunch of my footsteps, and the gentle lapping of waves. Sometimes, flying creatures circle above me. They have learned that the guts from the fish I catch are theirs when I leave. Now and then, I hear avalanches. This is the last entry. Sashi says the planet has been claimed by someone, and settlers will arrive soon. We cannot expect the habitat to remain hidden. He says enough time has passed. We can return to Brescian territory and live in hiding. 
he wants to use the emergency rocket and go back to Lethor. I do not wish to leave this place. Sashi says that if he can manage to detach the secondary module, the one we've mostly used for storage, he'll leave it behind so I can have some shelter. He might have to tear it off, though. If he does leave without me, and I think he will, I can leave my logs in the rudimentary storage there. I never understood why the coordinates I found were so important. Why we were hunted for them. I will leave them behind here as well. The last part of my old self, shed and left behind. It's getting milder, and we've had a few rainfalls. Avalanches are more frequent. Spring is coming. Maybe I will go south in a while. I wish to be absorbed by the land that has given me peace.